guys, Isabella here, and welcome back to the channel. So today's video, oh my god, y'all are gonna lose your minds with this. If you guys don't remember, a while ago, I actually reacted to a video and did a little bit of a deep dive on an individual by the name of Afnan Khalifa. She is a top eye genius leader. Now, one of the things I reacted to was Truly, which is a YouTube channel that talks about different stories. And they call this series that they have Bling Life, where essentially they talk about people who went from broke to rich, etc. And they did a video of Afnan Khalifa talking about how rich and wealthy she is, talking about how she's a successful entrepreneur. Now, that was bad, okay? However, it has come to my attention Truly did one on Lily Zaremba. From broke student to million dollar entrepreneur. So real quickly, before we actually hop in this video, I am going to be tagging and trying to tag Truly in this. I'm also going to be trying to bring awareness to them as well, especially through the comment section about the situation because this is starting to get out of hand and individuals like Lily, Afnan, and everyone else who are part of multi-level marketing companies do not deserve the recognition or promotion like they're receiving right now. So yeah, we're going to talk about it. We're going to hopefully try and spread, bring some awareness. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So we have a lot to dive into, so don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell button down below. And now without further ado, let's get going. Let's go. All right, so first of all, again, as I said, I am tagging Truly right now because I am trying to bring some awareness to this because this is a problematic issue. Again, I am going to direct everyone to this very specific video and this very specific timestamp. And again, I am just going to have clips real quickly of this because I have reacted to the same woman, Lily Zaremba, legitimately losing her shit on other people because they weren't recruiting enough. This is a legit recording. This wasn't crazy. This was literally sent from somebody on the inside and truly is actually promoting this woman, but she is a terrible person at that. So again, I'm just saying if y'all want to leave a comment on Truly's video, you absolutely can. But again, to refresh your memory, here are some of these clips. I want us to all listen to this. This is from a training. This is from some hidden shit, right? Next 11 months is really going to be determined by what's happening in the beginning of this. The beginning of this. And if you guys don't have an April event talking about her from your end, you fucked up. I hope you know that. You really fucked up. You have not pushed yourself enough. That you are unable to create somebody. Create someone to be successful by then. There's more than enough time. Stop fucking working on the same goddamn people, y'all. Find new blood. Find new blood, huh? Wow. This I'm not gonna make this excuse and be in management mode. Fuck nobody here should be in management mode. Nobody here is on management mode. I can't even be at management mode. So what makes y'all think any of you guys should be in management mode? Managing the team? As soon as you think for one second that managing the team is working on the business, you are fucking Wow. If you don't like the way your team is right now, go fucking find your people. Expecting and expecting and expecting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Because you'll be waiting forever. You'll be waiting for absolutely fucking forever for them to figure it out. Meanwhile, listen. The ones who want to figure it out will figure it out when they see you running. Like I said, she has been caught several times yelling at people. She has been caught literally losing her mind, yelling everything on her downlines because they weren't recruiting enough. So yeah, that, that's a fuck no. So this is the video. It's called From Broke Student to Million Dollar Entrepreneur. This is a 19 years old Lily Zaremba was just another college student. Broke, stressed, and juggling her studies and working at a restaurant. Growing up in the government housing, Lily always felt that her ambitions were limited. She said, I was working tons of jobs. I was always the hardest worker in the room. Lily describes what happened next as a chance encounter coming on the right time. Through a friend she followed online, Lily was introduced to the world of investing in multi-level marketing and investing. Who the fuck wrote that? <laughs> Lily added, when I came across this field of making more money online, being an online entrepreneur and investing, at first I was skeptical and I just really had to put my head down and block out all the negativity and just know that my results will speak for themselves. I had to do sleepless nights. Within just three years, the 22-year-old has now become a six-figure earner and a mentor to thousands of people around the world to do the same thing. Lily has created her brand, GCM, which stands for Game Changing Millionaires, which actually is not her brand at all. I'm amazed that she's even stating that. I think they're just allowing her to like make these claims because they're trying to like build her up and make her look like impressive. So, which stands for Game Changing Millionaires. And she leads a team of mentees who are following in their footsteps. I'm the bold leader. I'm the fearless leader. I'm the leader that will keep, never give up on everyone, Lily said. I'm the one that keeps going even after the finish line. Again, I would like to reiterate, I am going to have an entire playlist down in the description below that is about people involved with this company that are heavily connected to Lily. 
This is not an ethical company. This is a problematic multi-level marketing company where people lose thousands of dollars. In fact, the company, before they rebranded, got into trouble because they went to college campuses to recruit students. Anyways, so let's actually watch this video. I'm a very successful online entrepreneur, a multi-million dollar business owner, and they call me the social media queen. I was 19 years old, broke, studying university full-time, to now running an empire, a multi-million dollar business at 22. Speaking of thinking big and going big, we got another announcement here. I have good ones. That's actually crazy. I always need to get done up and ready because we, we gotta look the part for social media. I'm a very successful online entrepreneur, a multi-million dollar business owner, and they call me the social media queen. Is there eyeshadow? <laughs> Do you want some more eyeshadow? Because in the picture that you showed me, it was mm -hmm. kind of light, but I can add more if you want. Me to. And the under eye? And I haven't done that part yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just do that like really quickly yeah. under eye. Today we have a fun photo shoot. So me and my leaders are gonna be wearing our merch um, and announcing something big. We're celebrating a huge donation. You can't sell a dream looking like a nightmare. That's all I gotta say. So this entire wardrobe is roughly almost about $100,000 here. We have a few pieces here that I really enjoy. I wear this one a lot of the time. Okay. <laughs> First of all, we're literally a minute and a half in and we already have Lily going on about how my wardrobe is $100,000. One, I'm gonna let tell you right now, real rich people are not gonna just be this crazy. I, If she makes six figures a year or something, then like there is no way in hell she should be blowing that type of money on clothes. This is all a facade in my opinion. And this is so gross to me. And the reason why I have such an issue with these types of videos is because they are used as a beautiful way of giving some form of leverage so again, let's say if I'm on some type of platform and I'm a problematic scammer, if I can get other people to be enticed in my lifestyle and how much money I make, they are gonna come and find me. And then if they come and find me, then I'm gonna be able to recruit them. That's kind of the same process that Lily has followed in regards to TikTok or Instagram, where she talks about being a millionaire, making so much money, being successful, all of her traveling. It is all with the goal of recruiting people. And it's so, it's disgusting. I cannot believe that this is normal. And the fact that this is not even like a, hi, this is what I do for a living. This is genuinely just showing materialistic items. Do not fall for this stuff. If anything, I have heard that the company is near filing for bankruptcy, for crying out loud. I Genius's parent company because they're not doing good at all. And it's just very problematic to me because these individuals, just like Lily, are notorious for showing a perspective on social media, but having an exact opposite mentality and training in behind closed doors. And I have seen this woman, sadly, firsthand create very toxic environments, causing problems and issues for people, yelling and berating individuals for not recruiting enough. It is all a facade. They're not doing their research whatsoever. The fact that they're so willing to promote somebody's rich lifestyle like that already should be alarming. The fact that they're even giving her a platform is just shocking to me. I'm, I have my purses that I love and I adore. I'm a bit of a shoe collector, shoe hoarder if you call it, but I just love shoes. I love my red bottoms, I love my sparkly things. So a few of my favorite ones, these ones for sure, I love them. Just reminds me of the Wizard of Oz, Dorothy's red little shoes. Pumps are my fave because I love being super tall and they're super comfy as well. I walk into the malls without ever really having to look at the price tag because I know that we have the funds for it. I can afford it all. These last few days in Las Vegas here at this penthouse, I invested about $50,000 into my team because I want them to win. I want them to succeed. For the photo shoot, me and my girls are going to be wearing the GCM. We're representing our brand. 10 million success stories. GCM is a team that I created three years ago, you know, at my lowest point. And GCM stands for Game Changer Millionaires. We're so focused on empowering people, like financially, emotionally, like mentally in every state possible. Teaching people how they can really become entrepreneurs and make an income online and have fun doing it. We have Vaishi here, which is our youngest top earner. And we have our queen of Latin America here and my top Australian leader here, Bianca. Before this, about a year ago, I was doing full-time university, 
working part-time in a nursing home. And I was scrolling through TikTok and I found Lily. I reached out to her. Three months in, I actually left my job. You're with uh, us, with, with the crew. Yes. <laughs> I was just able to, you know, build from the bottom all because of her. I'm super grateful that we're like, literally Aww. here right now. In this together. I was a broke university student, same as Bianca. My parents were going through some hardship because in yeah. Bolivia, Things were not going really well economically and politically. I wanted to make money. I wanted to, I wanted to have her lifestyle, right? Like being here, that's exactly what I wanted. And like, I take a look, and it's crazy because we actually made it in here. We really did yeah, it. Yeah, we actually we made really it in here. So where they're at right now is they were in Las Vegas. So for Vegas, they actually are. They're doing this tour. And they're doing, and I honestly feel like it is a major facade. It's honestly embarrassing to say the least. So what a lot of people for the GCM Nation concept, what they've been doing is they have been creating these types of conventions or a tour. So they're self-creating this tour, acting as if their their trainings are in high demand. So they will go all across the country and not going to lie, a lot of people that are already in the multi-level marketing company buy the tickets in their location so that way the places get sold out and then they encourage other people to purchase it as well and again they're just simply going on tour so this Vegas tour was really just hyped up essentially where they had people I believe it was like from the W Fabrils other individuals other major teams that would speak on stage and talk about how incredible the opportunity is but the problem is is the main audience and demographic of the people that were attending these events were people in the company it wasn't people that were hunting them down they don't even have good social media engagement whatsoever and the majority of social media engagement that they have are people in their downlines and teams so like the hype that they're creating is non-existent is what we're getting at so it blows my mind the fact that truly actually what out of their way to film these people at an event that they essentially created that was like a, a glorified party when it wasn't even a convention for education or actually helping people out. And then further, it also really irritates me because we have several other people that are with her right now that are talking about how they were recruited by her through other forms of social media. I mentioned previously how Lily really harps on TikTok and that's actually another way she's grown so much is she will push this concept of being rich and secure and that's how she gets people. And it, what's so sad is it's very, very very easy for people who have no clue or concept of MLMs to join this because it looks great. She looks impressive. She does. The way that she displays herself gives a look of professionalism. But the problem is, is it's fake. Like she's very good at cosplaying. That's one thing that I will give credit to some of these people is they are very good at making themselves look put together, professional and educated when in fact they are purposely, in my opinion, trying to take you down this path. This is just so unethical, the fact that this is a, a normal thing for them. I grew up in a very humbling neighborhood, government housing. Both of my parents are immigrant parents. My father from Poland and my mother from China. I was working tons of jobs. I had fast food restaurants, retail jobs, like any job that you can think of. I was always the hardest worker in the room. When I came across this field of making your money online, being an online entrepreneur and investing, at first, at 19, I was skeptical. And I just really had to put my head down and block out all the negativity and just know that my results will speak for themselves. So I had to do the sleepless nights. I love creating content. I think about content in my sleep and when I wake up and any day and investing. So being a super young, successful, might I say attractive, yes, woman at my age, you definitely do get a lot of eyes on you. Some people call me a clown, an absolute bimbo for doing things like this, that I'm not educated, that I'm not professional enough. <laughs> Okay, so now all of a sudden, I'm amazed that she's even doing this. Lily has the utmost audacity to get on here and say, yes, yeah, some people just say I'm uneducated. Because Lily, you are uneducated. You don't know anything about actual cryptocurrency and real trading. If anything, you hire people to do it for you and claim that you know what you're talking about. You talk about investing, but you don't even give actual helpful beneficial tips. If you were so involved with investing, you wouldn't be a part of a company where the parent company is not doing good financially. You also wouldn't be a part of a multi-level marketing company that drains thousands and thousands of dollars out of people's pockets every single year. So again, you have no concept of actual real trading. And if you do, you are 
having someone that is actually work, doing the work for you, essentially. I will never call somebody an educated individual if you're the same one dogging on nine to fives and being a part of a multi-level marketing company that has time and time again been shown to be a pyramid scheme. It is not a pyramid, and again, I would like to remind everyone, a pyramid scheme is either one that has a product or service but has a dependency on recruitment, which is what I believe iGenius falls under, or again, the no product-based pyramid scheme. This one has a service, However, the main money maker for what I've been able to see is human beings and getting them into the system. And again, even Lily has agreed with me on this because she has gone on about getting fresh blood into the company because that is how you get success. And then other people say, well, you're the most inspiring woman that I've ever met. You've changed me so much just by watching you every single day. Speaking of the team, we need to go out and get some. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get Sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed Think you're something out of mind I think the, the fun ones are really, really cool, I think. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. also like the fun ones. I'm just waiting here for um, the person who has helped us so much to put this charity together. We're going to be talking about what the mission is with the charity, so I'm excited. Thank you for coming on to this call. John is a top leader in Bolivia who actually helped us refer to this charity and made sure that it was the right charity for us. I'm really excited because uh, this money, this $10,000 is really big and it's really going to help lots of these kids. The money we're going to be uh, using it on materials, also some infrastructure on the uh, on the place. We will come very very soon, um, but again, like it's it's amazing. It's it's amazing what we're doing with this charity, and you know, again, John, you've been such a huge help. Okay, John, thank you so much. Bye, I will see you next time, and we're gonna do big things for Latin. Okay, so now we're talking about the area of how she is working with charities apparently to donate money. Well, okay, I love the concept of helping out charities. Very important, I think it's very good to donate, bring awareness, that is just something I feel like everyone should do in general. Again, not everyone has the privilege of donating, I totally understand, but just bringing overall awareness so that way people who can afford to do that do is very significant. Here's my issue though, 90% of participants in iGenius lose money. Lose thousands of dollars at that yet we donate ten thousand dollars to charity okay I'm glad that you're donating thousands of dollars to charity but still majority of your downline is losing thousands and thousands of dollars every single week if not way more than what you just donated to that charity but you allegedly care for your team so much if you cared for your team so much one you wouldn't even be in this MLM, you wouldn't even be inviting people in but this is literally creating such a horrible like it cancels each other out. It doesn't even do anything actually good in the world because yeah, if you donate to charity, that's great. But when every single other person that pretty much works underneath you is losing money, losing sleep, and getting berated for experiencing that, and it has nothing to do with their efforts, it's literally because the system is set up to fail them, that is problematic. Also, I I do believe with this type of shot that we're getting right now, this was done on purpose. It was done, I feel like, to give this illusion of, I'm a good person, I have your best interest at heart, look at me donating charities and spending $60,000 on my team and going all out. No. One, when she's talking about $60,000, thousand dollars on her team dude do you really think she's giving 60k passing it around to downlines no she's spending money on the people that are closest to her so that way they can evoke this lifestyle more and that way they can have fun and post up more content on social media that makes them look like they're rich when they're probably not as rich as they are at all okay time to celebrate <laughs> I know we're gonna do big things together. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> we're gonna be 10 New times levels. richer, 10 times bolder, just on another level. I know this for a fact, okay? So, listen, I, I've got. I've got a special announcement here. Oh okay, Again. so before I announce this, all right, let's do this. I know, I know, right? The <laughs> announcements never end. <laughs> literally, literally never end. But for real, this is a decision that I've been thinking about for a while. And, you know, I know to create our 10 million success stories, we've got to launch bigger. We've got to yeah, launch yeah. new places. Yeah. And these two new continents that we're launching, Okay. Drop it, oh my god. Drop it, drop it. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Let's do it. 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 Let's do it.
use this opportunity to your 9.2 million subscribers, use it to actually show the problems within this industry. Because while well, yes, you can show the glitz and the glamour of this person, but we've shown countless times and times again how this individual is not who she portrays herself to be and causes way more problems than anything. It's not appropriate and it's very messy because you are literally misleading people on your own platform who could potentially join her and that is not what we want. And when the statistics do not lie that these companies fail people so much and it has absolutely nothing to do with actual legit effort, it literally has to do with the system that is a problem. So seriously, truly, like, I'm sorry, but you do need to get your shit together. This is not appropriate at all for you to be promoting about multi-level marketing companies. Like genuinely, please. I would encourage anyone just like the account for Truly or anything for that matter to please look into the issues of multi-level marketing. Look into people's channels about what we talk about and see that this is an issue. And instead of promoting people like this who profit off of individuals for a living, talk about the issues with MLMs. In fact, I'm sure it would be a bigger hit than this goofy on your channel. It would actually bring a conversation, which I think everyone needs to start, is having a conversation about something that many people run into, but not as many talk about the problems within the multi-level marketing industry. I, wow. And I wanted to make it a priority to show what we really do, what our impact is, who my GCM core leadership uh, people are, the girls that you see in the video, Fabiana, Vaishi, and Bianca. They are my everything. They are my everything. And I can't do what GCM does. I can't do what, you know, our entire team does out there with, with all the things that we're doing without them. So they're really the bread and the butter, honestly, to, to this multi-million dollar freaking empire that we've created. So check out the video, you guys. Um, and I just hope you can see, I hope you can see that it's so much more than just the money for us, you guys. It is really about the impact. It's really about being able being able to touch lives on such a deeper level and man the way they showed up you know i've gotten a lot of publicity and things like that for myself but this is the first time that my girls have ever been put on a platform like this you guys and that just shows you you know that we're really doing things big i mean this is just the beginning um there's a lot of other things in the works in the future coming out so this is not this is not going to be their their first shot at uh, the fame life and everything right but um i'm so happy I, it's beautiful the episode uh, the way that it all kind of worked out and okay again that was still just terribly embarrassing but this is not appropriate and i just i feel like that this is very important to highlight the issues within just publicity in regards to multi-level marketing because i don't feel like we talk about that enough how it is very damaging for larger youtube channels or other platforms news organizations promoting individuals in multi-level marketing and putting them on platforms and while I fully want to just let everyone know that there's some places that don't know and that's okay I feel like this one should have been a little bit more obvious I feel like people like her with the way they promote things and everything and how silent and weird they are about who they work for and what they work with, that should have been our bigger red flag. The point is, I really hope pages like Truly and others start to really pay attention and realize that this is very harmful and it is not appropriate to put these people on platforms. They don't deserve it and it's very damaging to other people's lives. And that's the issue is when we promote stuff like this on larger platforms, it gets other naive people that have no concept or clue about MLMs into the system to where they're like, okay, maybe I'll try it. And then it sets them up for thousands of dollars worth of loss. I have met too many people that have been a part of the same team that this person has created that have lost thousands of dollars that have been treated absolutely horribly. And it's not even speculation. It's literal proof that I've been sent, proof that I've shown on my channel and everything. So this is not appropriate, but I think that this is also a good conversation to have about how these types of platforms need to be held accountable because this is very wrong. It's one thing to maybe talk about a product or something for like an article. I don't love it, but it's a whole different story when we glorify these people and the harm that they're causing and trying to essentially give them an opportunity to recruit more. That is not what we want. That is never what we want anyone to experience. And I'll be damned if I'm going to sit here and be quiet about it while this is happening. I will not be okay as I know that all these people have a potential of finding and hunting down others for their personal gain. That is not cool and 
absolutely not. So that was it for today's video. That was very problematic. I really do recommend you commenting on the YouTube video for Truly. I am trying to reach out to them as well. I'm going to see if I can do any other things because this is the second time that I've seen them do this and I'm getting really tired of how this is so free to them. Again, they can cover whatever way they want, but I feel like we need to be a little bit more transparent with what we're talking about here because glorifying this person is in fact causing more problems and damage more than we know so that was it for today's video thank you guys so much don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to the channel and i will see you all in the next video stay glowing, maybe beautiful queens love you bye